A lot of Canadians are asking, why are we in Afghanistan? It's a very difficult mission, and many young Canadians, perhaps your classmates from high school and university, are risking their lives over there and being killed. So it's important to look at the reasons why we've made the decision to be there. Well, the first one is our role as a global leader. Canadians are extraordinarily proud of the role we've played in the past of leading the global community in doing things that we believe are morally right. And the United Nations, for many people, is a key institution in that. Well. The Afghanistan mission is a United Nations sanctioned mission. That's right. That means the UN doesn't just think it's right to be there. They think that their member states, especially their leading member states like Canada, should be there leading the global community. Then there's our commitment to the Afghan people. Under the Taliban, Afghan women were not allowed to go to school or even leave the house by themselves. Now, you better forget about gay marriage or tolerance of religion or diverse political viewpoints. It was a very oppressive system. And if we as Canadians are going to say that we value freedom, we value equality and the right to decide how you want to live your life and that your gender and religion shouldn't interfere with that, well, then we have to stick to our guns, literally, in Afghanistan. And that means supporting our values and creating a system there that allows Afghan women and all Afghan people to have an equal chance at life. Finally, there's the issue of national security. On September 11th, our biggest ally, the United States, was attacked in a horrific terrorist attack. And you may not like George Bush, you may think that he swaggers and has a twang and isn't too bright, but at the end of the day, what that told us is that if the Americans are vulnerable, well, you better believe that Canada is. Uh, in fact, Osama bin Laden has directly threatened us more than once from Alberta's oil fields to downtown Toronto. Now, we know that failed and failing states, as people in the know, call countries like Afghanistan, where the government isn't able to exert force and to ensure that its territory and people aren't exploited by groups like Al-Qaeda develop a risk. And, and we know that Al-Qaeda formed in Afghanistan before 9-11 and before the attacks. So if we're genuinely concerned about our safety and security here at home, in Ottawa, in Calgary, in Halifax, in Vancouver, that means sometimes we have to go overseas and do something difficult. We have to address the threat before it comes home. But we have an obligation as Canadian citizens to the people of Afghanistan, to the people of the world as global leaders, and finally to our own citizens here at home to stay the course.